When you humble yourself, you touch his heart. When you humble yourself, that's when he moves the supernatural. The Bible says, if my people would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will listen. If you don't humble yourself, I'm not going to listen because God rejects the proud. He gives grace to the humble. If you come to him with pride, don't expect that he would move his hand. But if you humble yourself, you touch his heart. And this man was using this walker for the past 16 years due to an injury on the job. But today he received his healing and now he can walk freely without having to use this walker. Let me see, come walk this way. Give Jesus the glory. 16 years. She had a difficult time seeing far away that she had to have uh, glasses. And she said that when you were pray praying, she felt a mist go over her eyes. And I just asked her if she can see the time from there before she wouldn't be able to see at all. And what time is it right now, Maria? It's 9.43 p.m. She had a tumor in her stomach for over six years. God healed her, even her sister. She was holding her hand in her stomach. She felt the tumor disappear. She felt the fire of God and now she's free of pain, free of tumor in Jesus' name. Not only did she give her life to Christ today, but she's had severe anxiety since she was six years old. And she is 29 right now and she said that she felt as if that heaviness left her and her heart feels so full that she hasn't ever felt that before. Makes it all worth it. The Holy Spirit is God. He is holy. He is good. He is love. And the moment you receive he comes to dwell inside of you. And this is the mystery, Christ inside of us, the hope of glory. Christ, by His Spirit, comes to dwell inside of you. And your body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. She said she felt a cool breeze come over her. And then from that moment, she could feel that the pain was gone. She received speaking in tongues for the very first time today. For many years, she suffered with arthritis and uh, joint pains all over her body. The Holy Spirit touched her. She felt heat going through her body and there is no more pain. So great and deep was His love for you that He was willing to become sin so that you might become righteous. That He was willing to be wounded for your transgressions. That He was willing to be bruised for your iniquities, with these. That someone took the punishment for your sins so that you can have eternal life. In Pasco, Washington, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus! 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 Jesus!